Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another series review. I just watched Year Million and the episode was called Energy Plan or Energy from Alternate Sources and Energy Beyond Earth, actually that's what it was called. Now I'm, now I'm recalling. It was speaking of terraforming Mars and how that would be done and it spoke of the series Mars that it was a kind of a <clears throat> shameless plug for their series which actually I really loved that series because it was fantastically done and uh, then they spoke of Europa I was surprised they didn't cover Titan or Enceladus and Secrets of the uh, what is it called Secrets of the Universe I do believe talks about that and they spoke of programmable matter and the closest thing that resembles that is Big Hero 6 with the, the little nanobots and they just kind of form this magnetic fabric and you could kind of move it to your will and I thought hmm it would be very intriguing if clothing could be made that way and you could just kind of um, make it whatever you want like if I wanted to go out with a tank top and shorts and they were super comfortable and I wear sandals with it. I could do that and I could do it with uh, cerulean because blue is my favorite color so <laughs> I could accessorize and I could probably put something in my hair to kind of give it a little bit of a sheen, a metallic blue sheen. I know that's, that this a little bit of a, a streak. I, I have enough streaks in my hair but I, I like to do something like that just to be a little bit um, different. Uh, but the episode itself was very intriguing I thought. It um, spoke of how we would terraform Mars, how we would terraform Europa, uh, if we expended all of our natural resources here on our planet what we would do if it would become the metaverse out in space uh, sustained by a Dyson sphere which in all probability could be done but it would be very challenging to do since the Sun itself is a pretty big power plant and making a Dyson, Dyson sphere excuse me would be a very um, Herculean uh, effort to undertake <laughs> It's uh, it, it would last forever though, and they talked about this um, Keplerian scale, I do believe, and um, I I think that's the name of it. Maybe it's not Kepler, but it was another name. I forget it, but it was speaking of on a planetary scale. Where are we? And speaking to our development, technologically speaking, uh, it also spoke of alien life in the near future. Maybe we missed out a few hundred light years in advance or maybe they're just not interested or they think that we're just insignificant like ants and, and one of the comedians mentioned that and <laughs> I actually thought that was pretty funny I they probably aren't or I'm one of those people I'm I'm sort of a conspiracy theorist I think that there are some that are amongst us and kind of help us along they they're incognito but I don't know maybe I'm just crazy I, I just I have no clue but um, if indeed that is the case, if we go beyond our own abode of the Milky Way, say we go over to Andromeda and we would come across an alien species and we would be mining something out of um, asteroids. A lot of rich minerals are taken from asteroids and I can see this happening and they talk about that and I'm thinking another scenario that would definitely occur would be something like planets and I thought ah I, why didn't they mention that I would have loved to have had them discuss that the whole thing was space debris well it wouldn't matter I don't think it would matter at that point in time because we would be uh, beyond all that and a lot of what we would do or who we were would be uh, subjected to the metaverse which would be very strange uh, it, it would be unusual, I think, living in a, a bubble, kind of a biodome, and breathing in an apparatus just to survive, but you would have to, and, uh, of course, 
we would have to have a perpetual motion. No perpetual motion machine would not work. And plasma engines. I don't know why no one has tackled this yet, but please just listen to me. Plasma engines are the way to go. I know people say solar, wind turbines, water. Yeah, that's that's all well and good, but please just look at plasma. It has no emissions and. I don't, I'm not an engineer, but I know that this would work. <laughs> it, it would definitely be functional. I don't know how because I can't, I don't even know how it would power pistons, but it would work. And it would just have to be tested to make sure that it would work. And why do, why, why um, worry? Um, but I'm thinking that it would probably be our children's children or maybe our children's children's children that would see this future come to pass. And it's a little bit daunting, I think. And one of the comedians in the episode said, uh, he, he acted totally relaxed about it. And he looked at the camera and says, I'm really scared. And I thought, yeah, I am really scared too. <laughs> I'm, I'm here with you, preach. But it was just a sensational episode, very well done. Um, uh, it was just uh, fascinating, I think. And next episode is going to be even better when they talk about multiple universes, which is something I ascribe to highly. Uh, but that's about all I have to say about Year Million. So until next time, live long and prosper. Ciao, Tootie!